Well, I'm Fazia Ibrahim, and these are the headlines on Al Jazeera. The president of Cyprus has been defending his country's $13 billion bailout. Under the terms of the deal, savers will have to pay up to 10% of their money to the government. The parliament will decide on Sunday whether to accept the measure. The president said it was painful but necessary. But there was an angry reaction on the streets. China's new president has given his first major speech since taking office in an address to the National People's Congress. Xi Jinping called on the people to work together to promote what he called the Chinese dream. Scott Heidler has more. He really wants to focus on building the nation together, moving it forward. Um, and one thing that he really focuses on, yes, that it's, um, you know, that there, there's anti-corruption, but you need to focus on this China dream because that has to move forward as a nation. This is something that he's going back to the roots of, of the, the uh, revolutionist ideas that formed the current communist China. So he really wants to go back to those roots and move the nation forward as a whole. And that's something that he's really been talking about, this China dream. There are many facets below that. That comes to economy. That comes to anti-corruption. But all over, that's what it's about, this uh, China dream. Vote counting has begun in Zimbabwe's referendum on a new constitution. The new document would curb presidential powers and strengthen basic rights. The results are expected within five days. Pakistan's Prime Minister has suggested that democracy in the country is stronger than ever. Raja Pervez Ashraf addressed the nation as his government became the first in Pakistan history to complete a five-year term. And you can find the latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.com.